since the weather's been so warm, I thought this week we would make the dolls some Coca-Cola. Join me and see what a fun and easy project this is. Okay, so we are making, like you saw in the intro, we're making pop cans. Cans of pop and a little box for them today. A little case. These are from the complimentary projects from Paper Minis. If you've watched very many of my, my videos on either this channel or my 18 inch doll channel, then you know I'm a huge fan of Anne's Paper Minis projects. I started out with these complimentary projects too. I think they're a great way to start, to get your feet wet, to practice doing these projects before you invest money in kits that she sells. She sells some beautiful kits. All the complimentary projects are downloaded as PDFs. This one prints, I actually this printed on half a sheet of paper. The other half of my paper had something else on it, so I just cut it off. Um, and I printed this today on just smooth cardstock. We are going to put a clear finish on it to make the cans shiny. You can print this on photo paper, but sometimes glossy photo paper, the ink will crack. So I didn't want to do that today. So we're going to start by cutting. Oh, and to get these, all you need to do, there'll be links in my blog, just hop over to Anne's site, sign up for her newsletter, and in every newsletter, there's a link to the complimentary projects. And she has a ton of them. These are on the first page. I'm going to start by cutting right at the end of those strips. And I'm going to cut right at the end of it here. just cut with a straight edge. You can cut these with scissors if you don't have a straight edge and a knife. I prefer the straight edge and knife for these long straight pieces. I think I'm only going to do one on camera simply because it's going to take a while to do all of them. What I like to do to start, I like to roll this around something. This happens to be just a marker that was sitting here on my table. Kind of get your paper and then roll it on something skinnier if it feels it's still feeling like it doesn't want to do what I want it to. Let me get a toothpick. Starting with the inside. I like to pre-roll these before I start trying to glue them. Because if I pre-roll them, they're going to cooperate a lot better when I go to do them for real. All right, now, now it wants to curve. I've got a piece of parchment paper, and I have some glue stick. If I can get the lid off. I like this kind of glue stick because it's purple when it's wet. It goes clear when it dries. So I can make sure that I have usable glue on the entire back surface. You could use Elmer's glue or tacky glue or something with this if you wanted. Now, we're just going to roll these up. And we're going to have to kind of guess. The first one is always a little trickier until you figure out, like I didn't get this tight enough, This is why a lot of people only put glue on the very end. I like to glue the whole thing. I think it comes out better. If you're concerned about getting this fit together, just put glue on the very end. But I've done a few of these over the years.
and there we go. Now it matches up. So what I like to do is take a wooden clothespin that has a nice big hole in it. Oh, it's going to smush it this time. Sometimes I can get those to work. I don't have the right clothespins this time. So forget about that part. Just roll it in your fingers. Make sure it's adhered. And set it off to dry. In fact, I've got a little container. I'm going to drop mine in here. I'm going to do the rest of these off camera, but also on camera, I will show you how to do this box. This is pretty, and these things, these are our tops and bottoms to our cans. We'll get to those in a little bit. If you've ever done one of Ann's projects, this system is pretty familiar to you, I'm sure. We'll cut it this far. Now I'm going to take a dental pick. I'm going to attempt to do this without sticking my head in the camera. If I was sitting with my head directly over it, I could make sure I was getting this exactly where I want to score it. My lines might be scored a little bit off because I'm looking at this at a slight angle where I should be looking straight down. But I want you guys to be able to see straight down. I got that fairly straight. Line up at the end. Now, I'm looking around my table. I may have to go find my scissors. I don't know if I've got scissors here or not. Because I want scissors for the small spot small parts. Ah, there's a pair. I do have scissors. And if you are wondering where our garage project is on this channel, be sure and check the blog post because I will go into that on the blog post. We will be getting back to that project. Um, check that out. Come on. Now on these pieces down here, I don't cut or I don't fussy cut around all those little pieces because I'm going to glue this box shut on this end so I only cut around the pieces that are going to actually show. This is going to go over this. I'm cutting some of that off to, ex to reduce bulk but I'm not going to worry about cutting around all the shapes. If you were going to display this in a different way like maybe have the box open differently. You might want to use those wonderful details that Anne has included. All right. Now we're going to fold on those score lines. Now you could glue this. See, I think I'm going to make my box glued all the way shut this time and then not have it torn open. Have the cans next to it. You I know that's that tacky glue. You can glue this any way you want, depending on what scene you want in your dollhouse. Do you want this to be open? Do you want it to be closed? Do you want it to be, um, you know, how do you want it? It's up to you. That's the beauty of doing these kits. Another thing I love about the complimentary projects is since you do download the PDF, if you mess up, you can just print it again. It's just paper and ink. Um, it's not a big deal. 
think these are probably designed to have this end open, but you know, I just don't really want to have my ends open on this this time. I want to have my box closed today. I've done it both ways on many projects many times. And if you just want the box, you don't have to make the can part. You could just do the box and have the box of boxes just come home from the grocery store or something. Let's, see, let's put this up first. And you got this little tab that goes inside. Yeah, too much coffee again and not food yet. I haven't gotten around to eating yet today. Now this box, it would print better on photo paper, but like I said, sometimes photo paper cracks, and so I didn't want to do that today. We will make this a little shinier in a little bit. So that's how to put those together. I am going to get these ready, and when the glue is all dry, I'll be back, and we'll put the ends on. Uh, all right, so our parts are all dry now. Uh, our box looks great. We are going to put a clear finish on it, make it a little shinier. We have our cans to finish. Now glue stick will hold it into a round. I am going to glue the flaps down as we do our next step. So next off, we have our tops and bottoms of our cans. This is on our printout also. Now you could cut these out with scissors. I've done that in the past. Much easier is a hole punch. This is just a standard quarter inch hole punch. And I picked this up at Dollar Tree yesterday. Um, it had a little cap on, a little metal piece on here to catch the stuff you punch out. I took that off, it just pulls off. And what we need to do, I took it off so that I can see what I'm getting, that I'm actually punching where I want. I'm gonna punch all the bottoms out. And it will punch it a little bigger than what I need it, but I will show you how to deal with that when we are all done. punch there yet. I was hoping to keep it all in one piece without having to do that. Just make sure, I think there's usually extras, yeah there's extras on here too. And gives you extra, extra pieces so in case they run away from you. Now I'm going to use tacky glue. I'm put a little pool of tacky glue. It's off to the side here on my paper. I don't want to have my stuff roll into it. So, as I pick up each can, I'm going to take a toothpick. Trying to not get myself... I'm trying my best to stay under the camera. I'm going to run this under there. And then, I'm dipping one end, and i got to look at my can, yeah that's the top. If you look at your cans, there is a slight, it's slightly lighter on the top of the can. That makes it look like it's bent in. Let's see, let's get this glued down. Where is the camera? And it's okay if the glue goes off the edge. We are going to coat this with a clear so the glue will not show when we're done. When I'm just putting these off camera, I'm putting them into a plastic container so they can't roll away. And so the cat can't help them roll away.
one more, and you can see our two more. I have two more. So this one feels like it's actually glued all the way down. And I have a couple of extra pieces, which is good. Because I sometimes these do get away from you when you are working with them. Now, if your doll, if you'd rather have Diet Coke, uh, the Diet Coke box is actually part of the Contemporary Minis um, subscription set. I don't remember what month that comes, but one month that is one of the items that's in the set. All right. So now that glue needs to get at least set up enough that it won't, the lids won't come off. When that's set up, I'll be back and we'll work on the tops. All right, so now the, the bottoms are dry. Oops, that one's kind of off to the side. So now what we are going to do is make sure that our lids are, our tops are upside down. I'm just dipping this in glue off camera. Where is the camera? And then we're going to put the tops on. And set it off to the side again to dry. So I'm going to repeat this with the rest of these pieces. And when they're dry, I'll be back and we'll do our next step. All right, when the glue is dry, we'll find that we have some areas that are not colored and you know where, we, where the punch was too big. And also we've got some spaces that are hanging over. So first thing we're going to do is take a pair of scissors. I like to use manicure scissors when I'm trying to cut round. We're just going to trim this up. You could use an emery board. I do recommend you buy a pair of manicure scissors though for cutting these little tiny round things of any kind, no matter what craft you're doing. I use these in everything I do. I use them in um, card making, in scrapbooking, in um, when I'm cutting little things out for my art journal, when I'm cutting out things for my planner, no matter what I'm doing. Now, we've got some spaces where I miscut. I have a silver metallic Sharpie marker here. You can usually find these where they sell Sharpies. And we're just going to kind of, it's not going to match perfectly, but it will disguise this. Remember, keep the ones that look the best out where they're going to be seen and put the ones that don't look so good in the back. Now I have some triple thick. I want these really glossy. So I'm going to paint triple thick on them. Alright, so that's how we're going to treat the cans. I'll do the rest of the cans off camera. We have our box that our soda came in. For that, I have Mod Podge in satin finish. And I have another brush, obviously. This has been laying. I found this jar upside down in the drawer that I keep this stuff in. So it's a good thing they have a good lid on them. All right, for this. Trying to work. I've got like eight projects on my table right now. It's driving me crazy here. I'm just painting this on. Um, I'll leave one side and one end not painted, and then I'll let it dry. By the time I get the cans done, that will be ready to do the other coat. When this stuff is dry, I'll come back and we'll talk about the project. All right, so these are all dry now and ready. Well, that end's not dry, but for the most part, they're all dry and they're ready to use in a in a scene. Uh, if the little bit of edges showing kind of at the edge bothers you, take an emery board to it and kind of round your corners and that will smooth it all out. So I hope you enjoyed this week's project. Hopefully the weather will be cooperative and I will get enough time and good enough weather that I can continue soon with the garage project, but be sure and check the blog post to find out more about that. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.